Well, there's a lot of things you could do over a weekend, maybe mowing the lawns or hitting away on a short holiday. But for hundreds of up-and-coming Canterbury filmmakers, they were celebrating the success of the 48-hour film festival challenge. Well, most of them. The mad rush to the finish line. Massive crowds at this Christchurch bar, a sign of success. Nearly 100 Canterbury teams took up this year's challenge to create a short seven-minute film in just 48 hours. The competition has been running nationwide for 13 years, with teams having just one weekend to write, shoot and edit their film. It's a fast turnaround, but that's what brings out the crowds every year. It's a creative event, and like being creative and, and making stuff is really fun. You get to do it with your friends, um, and I think the kind of pressure cooker element of it um, makes it particularly enjoyable because like you kind of you kind of go a bit mental uh, over the weekend and it kind of puts all of your all of your faculties to the test. The groups are given a genre at random but some other criteria they need to use at seven o'clock Friday night and have to come up with a concept. Some of these previous entries were from Christchurch winning the regional finals but not quite good enough to take it out. So who will win this year? The entries could be anything from musical, rom-com or this against the odds film. Todd's been doing this role for five years and before that he was competing as a filmmaker in the competition and he says it's changed a lot from when he started. Getting really cinematic results has been much easier um, and so a lot, the, the playing field's been leveled a lot in terms of production value which means that script writing and acting and, and directing is much more important because you can't just have a nice camera and, and wow everybody because like, everybody's got a nice camera now. Some teams were more organised than others, handing in their film with hours to spare. But there was heartbreak for some teams who didn't quite make the deadline. The real heartbreaking point comes when you actually watch the films and then you see the ones that didn't make it that are like really good and you're like, oh God, oh, what happened? But, um, and that happens every year as well. This team felt the pain, unable to complete the task at hand. We were just sitting in the car park with the laptop that was still trying to format. We got here probably like with 15 minutes to spare, but the thing was still processing. What often happens is it's the rendering um, at the end when it's just like you're basically fighting against your computer's processing power and like we had a couple people with um, laptops out in the car park um, who were just like sort of screaming at their laptops to, to go faster. Although the entry was disqualified from judging, the boys were happy that their film would be played at the screening. It may be the finish line for the teams involved but not for Todd, he'll spend another 11 and a half hours watching every single movie. Well I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to uh, start watching films basically and then over the next couple days I'll, I'll watch 100 short films. So what brings him back to this every year? I just love seeing everybody kind of clustered together and just like really excited that they've, that they've made a film. So Tom will be getting the popcorn ready while others celebrate with the screening of the films taking place later on in the week. And it's time for some sleep too. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.